Hello folks, my name is Paul Stranger. Today we are doing the top 10 frontline community project maps from the Steam Workshop. These maps where people have worked pretty hard, some are still in progress of being finished, some are done, but these are maps and obviously enough they will be very interesting how well they will be done, or how interesting they could be done when they actually finish them. Some interesting ideas here and there from them, there's the odd textures that could be better, but yet again though, you decide folks of what you think about them. Before I will start, I better say this for the hundredth time. If I can't pronounce a name, or fail to, or struggle to pronounce a name, it's because of my disabilities, my dyslexia and global learn delay, which affects my speech, reading, pronunciation and understanding. So if I struggle to read and you find that annoying, then deal with it, mate, because that's my problem and you can't do nothing about it. With that said though, that'll be yours in the description. The links into, with all these workshops in the description to have a look at. So with that said, we got the first map which was made by a friend of mine and the map is cool. Da, 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 da. CTF Cold Base, a Capture the Flag Base, or let's say Map. A nice cold theme map if you like the cold. Obviously some interesting concepts here, having a gate with a warding light and a cannon to ward away players or let's say planes or troops. And it's a pretty good map, I have to say. Pretty well made, pretty well done. And yeah, it looks pretty balanced and very interesting. And obviously you've got the center point where all the players will be meeting to kill each other. This is TF2 we're talking about. So yeah, well done. At number 9 is Arena 2 Camp. This is a very interesting map. Obviously based in a city or a town, like in most wars these days, even from the Second World War. Pretty good looking, it looks pretty well done and finished. And I can't see any problems with it, maybe some tweaks here and there, but that's up to the developer of the map. But a pretty good map overall, for let's say a capture the point or an arena type mode. But a very interesting one nonetheless. So, congratulations, good sir, for making this amazing but interesting map. So, at number 8 is... Hyden. This map is still a work in progress by the look of it. There's some missing textures and it does look a bit ugly. But I bet when it's fully finished and fully fledged out, it will look well done and pretty amazing. But like I said, a lot of these maps are work in progress, so I'm not going to hammer at the developers for slacking off. It's just, do maps is must be take a very long damn time. So you have to take your time with these things. But pretty well done, nonetheless, for a nice payload type map. That will be very, very interesting, nonetheless. But well done, and hopefully it will be finished. So, at number 7 is Skywalker. This is a nice looking blimp type map. Obviously you'll see in a, very soon there are three blimps. The first blimp which is the blue ones, the blue teams, and then you've got the red blimp for the red team, and then you have the third blimp being the neutral one, and obviously it's capture the point. I don't know how it will work, like you go on the planes just to get there, it, maybe the parachute would be very useful for this map as you can glide down. Probably some, maybe some texture work here and there with the third blimp, but it's a pretty good map I have to admit, and yeah, pretty good. So at number six, I'm not gonna say this name. I could probably say the first one, first bit of it, Garbon, but I'm not saying the other bit because God, these names are some things, are some maps and items. Boy. 
But yet again, it's a nice looking map of trench warfare and some base defense. But yet again, though, a pretty good one. Probably some textures here and there. Maybe some little improvements. But overall, it's a pretty good map, I have to admit. Be it again, like everything, there's always room for improvements. But it's a work in progress, so we can't have a go at him for that. So, well done, good sir, but the name, very confusing. Number 5. CP Valley War. A nice capture the point type of map. Obviously, it's a big map, so like most capture the point maps, they're pretty big. And it's a very interesting one, as there's a lot of open space, and there's some nice crowded spaces. But it's a very interesting map, nonetheless. And obviously you've got the blue team, you've got the red team, and then you have the center point of the map, obviously with most CP maps. And here we have the red team pretty wide open. It would be funny if those tanks were actually shoot at you, and you had to try to avoid them, or even destroy them. That would be quite hilarious. But nonetheless, a pretty good map. Oh dear, my voice. Number four, Bomb Town. A nice small map, I guess that it would be a King of the Hill map. Probably some little improvements here and there, but it looks like a very interesting map nonetheless. Obviously you have the red base and you have the blue base. It will go to the center it could be a capture the flag map, who knows, but it's a very interesting map nonetheless. But with this hole in there, it's more or less of capture the intelligence, or capture the bomb. Grab the Reds bomb, or maybe put your bomb in their base, who knows. A pretty good interesting map nonetheless, and very different from the others. So at number three is... Kaf... Kaf... Age? Another name I'm struggling to pronounce. I think it's Carthage. I don't know. And so somebody's going to comment about it. Of me saying that word and going lol or something like that. Oh well. Let's just call it Boot Camp Base. As you can probably tell by the first image. A very interesting type of map. And obviously enough though... It looks pretty interesting how it's all laid out. It's like a little city, but a very good one, I have to admit. I don't see much in need of improvements, be it again, though, there's always room for improvements. Maybe the name. So, number two, I'm not saying that, you can go do yourself. It's a King of the Hill map. Um, I will say there's some textures that need doing, like the floors and the ceilings. But it looks a very interesting map. I don't. I'm gonna. Oh my god, I'm screwing up my words. Damn pronunciation. What I was going to say is that I bet it will look very interesting when it's finished. And obviously, like I said, it's work in progress. But a very interesting King of the Hill map. And obviously, you've got the red and blue side. I wish the names were easier to pronounce like all the others. But hey ho, there you go. You get what you're given. But a very good map, nonetheless, but still needs texturing. So, number one... Colerson Root. Colerson Root. I hope I said that right. If not, then... Oh well, I gave it a good try. This map looks pretty damn impressive. It more or less looks like it's finished and ready to be played. And obviously enough though, it really fits the war theme pretty well, damn well, with the hammer. A very interesting map. Now I don't know if it's a King of the Hill map. Oh wait, I think it is. Oh no, I forgot. Blech. Any case, so a very good map overall though. Fits pretty well and it does look like a war or maybe some kind of fortress. But pretty well done, nonetheless. So that is it. <laughs> Probably your voice breaking about a couple of times and um, struggling to pronounce some names. Now, like I said, if you're probably wondering, God, he can't pronounce his names right, or he's not going to, it's because of my dyslexia and global learning delay, which affects my reading, pronunciation, and speech. I hope you remember that, because if you forgot and you weren't paying attention, 
then by God, someone's going to have a go at you of saying, did you read the description or listen at the start of the video? Because that's what most comments are like now. People telling other people, did you listen to what he said? Any case, though, pretty good map, still work in progress. I did a chart where on votes on the community projects, and the front line got the highest out of them all. I will leave a link in the description. But I think it got very, very, very high. Let me see. Yes, you probably hear me mouse. But yeah, as we can see here, which community, it got 72 votes. With Mayan getting 15 and Iron Gauntlet got 19. So probably people really want this to be a proper community update. With that said though, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and bared me reading. I'll see you all next time.